In a lab at Princeton University, a working scale model of the machine that could solve some of the problems of large scale space construction has been developed. It is called a mass driver. Futurist Dr. Gerard O'Neill of the Space Studies Institute. This is the bucket of a mass driver electric motor. The bucket carries a payload of lunar material and it's accelerated by these magnetic coils with an acceleration that's more than a hundred times as fast as the hottest drag racer ever made. When the bucket and its payload get to the full speed of 8,000 miles per hour, the payload is released and goes out into space and the bucket is recirculated for reuse. So if you were to look at a mass driver in operation, you'd see that stream of payloads like water coming out of a fire hose off into space. And this is how it works. Three, two, one, zero. I calculated the acceleration. It seems that we still have some problems. We only got 33 Gs on that shot. Just 33. We'll keep working at it. And this is how it works. Everything clear? Okay, three, two, one. Side's fine. Clear here. Clear here. Okay. Now we'll start safety things. Don't go sticking hands in any place. Sure. Okay. Three, two, one, gone. An acceleration of 1800 G's is more than sufficient to uh, begin to bring materials off the lunar surface to raise it to high orbit where it can be used to manufacture many different uh, beneficial materials such as solar power satellites, colonies and so forth. 